Welcome, my name's Todd from Alarm Home Systems, and today we're going to step through the setup process of Alarm's Video Over IP solution. To start, we need to go into Configurator and turn on our Discovery tab. Once our ACM unit appears on the network, you simply click on the IP address, and this will launch the web browser. Once the web page loads, you select Alarm, type in 3526, and this will direct us to our setup wizard screen. From our setup wizard screen, we select next, then we select start scan. Once the scan starts, all the transmitter and receiver units that are on the network will be found and addressed automatically. Once all the transmitter and receiver units have been found, we can stop our scan and select Next. From our Device Setup menu, we can rename our transmitter and receiver units, set the EDID settings for our transmitter unit, set the scalar resolutions on our receiver units, as well as ID our transmitter and receiver units by flashing the front LED under the View tab. In this example, we'll now go and name our transmitter and receiver units. So our first unit will be Fetch TV. Our second unit will be a Roku. And on the receiver side, our first unit will be Kitchen TV. Second unit will be Bedroom TV. And our third unit will be the Lounge Room. On the receiver side, we can also select Actions. Within this menu, again, we can also turn on the front flash option, so we can identify each of the, the uh, receiver units, uh, or we can also uh, turn on the on-screen product ID to ID this particular unit from the a TV screen. Once this is set, we select Next. Now that we've completed the wizard setup, we now have to set the IP address in our ACM module. Now to do this, we simply go to Settings. Once in the Settings menu, we select Update, we turn off DHCP, and we dial in our static IP address that the ACM unit needs to be assigned to. Once this is completed, we'll get a confirmation that the IP address has been changed and then we go back to our main menu. Once the ACM unit has rebooted and receives its new static IP address, we now go back to Configurator under the Discovery tab, select Install, enter the name of the ACM module, and then select Configure. This will bring out the Alarm Video Over IP solution into Configurator. Once the ACM module has been added to the project, we simply click on the header and go down to Import Settings to import the full config from our ACM module. Once imported, under Sources we'll have all our transmitter units and under Zones we have all our receiver units and the names that we added within the wizard are also brought across. From here, we can select each transmitter unit under Sources and make a range of setting changes. So we can allocate where the audio comes from. We can set the EDID settings for, for that particular unit. We can turn CEC pass through on or off. We can enable the RS-232 guest mode and also set the RS-232 parameters for that guest mode. Under zones, we have our edit tab. By selecting the edit tab, this allows us to adjust the scalar resolutions turn fast switching on and off, turn HDR on and off, CEC pass through, we can rotate the image, we can stretch the image, we can enable RS-232 mode, and we also have the ability to fix signal paths, which enables us to fix, as an example, an IR path from one transmitter to a specific receiver. And it's a simple matter of going to the drop-down box and selecting the transmitter unit where you want that IR to originate from, and apply it and that will fix the IR path.
This concludes today's video and thank you for watching.